there's a point where, when we're playing against fast bowlers, that short pitch bowling gets beyond the point where we can really defend it with any control. When the ball is bouncing like that, we've got to have courage and we've got to keep our eyes focused on it at all times. Never turn our head on a short pitch ball. That's the only way you're going to get hit. Keep yourself as sideways as possible. You're a small target. And the way I look at it, there's almost three lines of short pitch ball. There's the offside line where, as we've seen the length of the ball, we drop the hands and we just sway inside. We keep our eyes on the ball as it travels past us down the offside. The straighter ball, we look to play, then we see it get big. We don't want to play because we'll be out of control and our hands will be going up. So again, we drop our hands and we get underneath. And as we get underneath, we watch the ball go harmlessly over our heads. The third one is the ball more on the leg stump line. And as we've judged the line, we can't play again, it's too high. We drop the hands in the bat and we watch it go over the left shoulder. All the time, I'm keeping my head steady and I'm keeping my eyes focused on the ball. When you're learning to play the bouncer, you don't actually need the bat and the gloves to start with. You can stand square on, and as long as you're using tennis balls and a sensible feeder, it can come close, and you can get used to just dodging and weaving, the idea that you're focusing your eyes on the ball all the time, and you're letting it go harmlessly past you. Good. And when you're happy with that, we can now get into a side-on position. Final progression for this drill is a link-in with the back defensive. We have to decide whether we're going to have to play or whether we leave the ball. And it's a real judgment call here, but if you're playing top quality quick bowling, that's what it becomes about. When do you play? When do you not play? He's made me work really hard there, being really sharp with the mind and with the eyes, and quick feet, quick feet. Some of those balls I'm defending, I'm actually in mid-air, but I have to play them. All right, and it's that judgment, when do you play, when do you not play? And you're only going to know by practicing.